What? I like your nails. Thank <laughs> you. Oh, let's go. <laughs> What's good, y'all? This is your girl, Nana Banana. Welcome back to another Boss Type video. We're back with another episode of Central Saturday. Alex is back. Guys, welcome back, Alex, to that channel. I know y'all can go off in the comments about where Alex has been because he hasn't been here, hasn't been doing his <laughs> Central Saturday part. Wow. Y'all don't know. <laughs> y'all wow. don't know who Alex is. Alex and I um, started Central Saturday. He was like my first. My first Central Saturday guest. I was like almost 50 episodes ago, y'all. This is episode 49. Yes. It's episode 49. Episode 50 is going to be a special. We're going to do an all girls. We're going to do a girls and guys panel. Get different opinions on different 50, sides. Like part 1, 50, part 2. Yeah. 20, I think, I think 25 was like an all girls panel. I think one of them was an all girls panel. Then we had an all guys panel. Mm. And then. For episode 50, we're gonna do a guys and girls panel, get everyone's opinion in and make it nice and, I was gonna say <laughs> juicy, but I feel like that wasn't appropriate. Oh, bit. very moist, yeah. <laughs> It's gonna be lit. Make sure y'all stay tuned for the 50th episode, but for now, we got Alex, and that is one of the best guests that we can have. All offense to Gio. <laughs> <laughs> Alex is gonna pick out the topic, and of course, the guest usually picks it out. If you guys haven't watched Central Saturday before, y'all make sure to go check those old episodes out, then come back and rewatch this one because we're gonna try to make it as, <laughs> as um, interesting as we possibly can. Don't forget to hit that like button, the subscribe button, and turn on those post notifications so you know when your girl posts another video. We're right gonna wait for Alex to choose one, even though he's technically cheating. You know, you could feel the weight of the question through the paper. Right. All right. Could you be happy in a relationship if the sex was horrible? I think... We've done this. Yeah. I also think I did it with Gio. Okay, so these questions have not been <laughs> updated for mm -hmm. a good amount of time. To run this back. But don't worry, the 50th episode, we're going to make sure we got some good, some good questions for the guys and the girls. To make it interesting. Do you consider flirting while in a relationship cheating? It feels familiar as it well. It feels so familiar. We were, and we did because we were talking about you being flirty. Wow. And, um, okay. Yeah, we did it. I'm sorry, y'all. We about to just go on and go and pick up <laughs> pick wow. a question real quick. Dealing with unreciprocated love. Bad. Let's do it. <clears throat> I actually had um, an event recently in life kind of <laughs> involved that, yeah. Okay. Okay. Like, not on my behalf, obviously, but like, without saying any names, there are certain parties who felt like um, that they deserve the energy they gave to me back to them when um I just like I wasn't feeling it like they were like oh my god you're blank 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 I want to do bang 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 and I'm like ah cool I'm not really interested so because I don't believe in um, what's called performative friendships which basically means that like I'm not the type of person at least who will do friendly shit, pretend to be your friend, all of the whole intention of trying to hopefully win you over to sleep with you. You know what I mean? Okay. So, so you're like, just not like a hit it and quit it. Like, yeah, I'm not like I'm not here for the games. Like, we either on the same page or we're not. If we're not on the same page, I'm not. I don't see no use to waiting around mm -hmm. until waiting until the person's on the same page as me. Because it's like at that point in time, it's it feels very um, manipulative. It is very manipulative. Right. And it feels like so you have this whole person who's like, oh yeah, I actually built this. He's so nice, he's so kind, he does this, he does that, all that. And then they're like, oh, he deserves kitty or whatever. And then they give him kitty and the nigga's like, all right, I got what I wanted, I'm out of here. And then it's yeah. like, now you hurt. So it's like, instead of wasting your time <laughs> and wasting my time, I'm just like, yo, this is what I'm here for. This is what I'm looking to do. You know, I'm just a page. I understand, I hope you do you. I think, um, it's hard. Right. <laughs> <laughs> 
this topic's a little bit um i feel like this will, this will make a lot of females itch mm. because um mm. we tend to do that well i think also um and it all circles back to that whole conversation we had on love language where you have to kind of you kind of have to understand how um other people express love because a lot of times i'm not going to cap um, you have a lot of women say, oh yeah, I feel like I show my love more than my partner does with this, this, or whatever, whatever the case may be. And sometimes that's not genuinely the case. Sometimes it's just y'all show love in two different ways. So if you judge, <coughs> like for example, if you judge a fish on how well it can fly, then a fish is a failure. So instead you judge how well it swims. And, you know what I mean? So it's like, cause like, I'm gonna be honest with you, some guys aren't very showy when it comes to love. You know, because think about it, if you spend most of your life being taught, don't get into that emotion, don't do this, how do you expect that same individual to learn how to express it? You know what I mean? It's like, you can't expect someone, like, it's like saying, oh yeah, you're not allowed to, like, do sports, you're not allowed to do sports, and then one day I come to you, oh yeah, you better play this sport with me, and you better help us win, you feel me? Like, no. And then a lot of, like, it's just, I think it's just different ways, but, you know, honestly, I think unreciprocated love is just white, you know what I mean? Like. I think it's a standard mm, think so. in life. I feel like it kind of goes back to what I was saying. Like in your context, you know, mm -hmm. of course, if you if you're letting that person know from the beginning what your intentions are, mm -hmm. then okay, you, yeah. then you know they don't really have. I mean, they have the right, but they don't really have the right to be upset when you already let your expectations be known of what mm -hmm. you wanted out of that whole situation. Um, some females, and I will take full responsibility that I was one of those females. And it wasn't unreciprocated love, mm -hmm. it was just unreciprocated feelings. Mm -hmm. So I was like one of those females, like somebody had let me know what their intentions were. Mm -hmm. And because me being the person that I am, I was like that person was like, okay, well, I see what you're what you're saying. Mm -hmm. I understand what you're telling me. Okay. But because of the type of person that I know I am, felt that I could be that person that would turn, you know, that situation around. Mm -hmm. And That's I did fun. learn the hard way that, you know, no matter how good of a person you are or what you bring to the table, if someone has their heart set on, you know, the desired expectation that they have from whatever is going on between two of you then they have every right to stay in that position because that's mm -hmm. where they told you that they wanted to be mm -hmm. and you trying like me trying to alter it got me hurt at the end of the day because mm -hmm. i put like too high of an expectation on myself mm -hmm. and my value is that i undermined what they said and like kind of kinda put like no respect towards what they said and how they felt which i like feel like I females do that impress you enough or make you yeah. feel enough i can change if i put myself out there enough in a certain like way mm -hmm. then you can see that okay she's like those are really she, yeah mm -hmm. you know i feel like a lot i feel like a lot of females do that i feel like a lot of females put themselves out there way more than you know they should and then they put themselves they they put themselves at a level of expectations in which they don't receive like mm -hmm. that love think, back or that feeling back and then they get themselves hurt i think also though unfortunately um i don't want to say to express <coughs> it more but i want to say that the issue arises is because usually for the most part the guy you'll hear this bullshit with it or it's not really bullshit you can't really judge a person but they're like oh i'm not really looking for anything and the girl will say, oh yeah, me too, knowing mm -hmm. fully well yeah, that she it. is looking mm -hmm. for something. So it's like, and that's what that communication aspect that we always preach like during the this expectations channel. too. Like I feel like some girls, they want to be like, okay, no, I'm, I, I could hold back, but I'm not going to like mm -hmm. fall for them. They're going to fall for me. And then when they mm -hmm. fall for that person and they end up disappointing themselves, they get mad at that person for, for mm -hmm. being exactly who they said they were going to be during the whole entire Absolutely. time. I feel like a lot of like. And then what I also realize with women though, it's <coughs> when they are, and I'm not saying I don't, I don't want to come off as misogynistic as this because <laughs> let me uh, let me preface <laughs> that I am a straight cis male, so I do not romantically it's interact words. with other. Hey, listen, you know this is like straight cis. Listen, straight cis. Straight cis. Straight cis gendered male. To, listen, you're on YouTube. You 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 can't you can't not know what that means. I have no idea so what that means. Why is that even a word? So 
quick break. If I'm describing or explaining this wrong, please correct us in the comments. But sister, correct him. Correct I her. I don't know what it is in the first place for me to be corrected. Tran you know what transgender is? Yes. Cis is the opposite of being trans. So it's worth like, do you identify as a woman? Were you born <laughs> as a woman? Yes. Then you're cisgendered. Okay. Yeah. So, um, so keep in mind, I only interact with women in a romantic sense, never niggas, so I don't know if niggas do this. But um, women are very aware of the things if it directly influences them. So for example, unreciprocated love, they're like, oh yeah, I could think of the time where I love this dude and dude didn't love me back. But I can guarantee you there's multiple niggas, uh, there's multiple men on the receiving end of that from her that she's just not aware of. Mm -hmm. There were dudes who were fiending for her, thing like, yo, why she mess with these other dudes? I can love her like she deserves to be loved. And because her eyes weren't on them guys, she didn't even see it. She just, la, la, la. But that's not always is though. You see, so it's like, that's, that's why not I say, always, but that's why I say, generally. like unreciprocated love is a natural part of life because but not everyone is going to be loved by the same people they love. But is that even, sometimes can you really like say that it's always love? Absolutely. I feel like a lot of the times it it's lust. It. Well, it depends how you define it because, um, I guess we discussed before, there's like seven or eight or nine different types of love. Um, and <clears throat> from what I gauge, from like just the people I talk to of different walks of life, when you get to a certain age or have a certain amount of experiences, you take a certain appreciation for even a simple like puppy dog love. Because it's like, at the end of the day, yeah, that puppy dog love never, probably never ended up in a marriage, but you learned a lot and it was an experience, you know, it like helped you become you, so you can't help but to look back at it. And that's why like, you know, when you get older, you can look back at stuff and laugh. The big, same things that used to hurt you when you think back, you're like, oh man, fuck this dude, and you know, fuck this dude, you know, this dude broke my heart. Of course that's gonna hurt a year, two, three years after. But like, when you hit, like, when you hit 80, you're not gonna be sitting here like, fuck Tyler from when I was in 18, 20. You know, you, like, you can be like, oh yeah, that sucked. But like, it was so crazy how much in love I was with him. Looking back, he didn't deserve that obsession I had with him or that devotion I had for him. And it's like, that's just life. And it's yeah, like- that's, a, that's literally the cycle yeah. that people go through. But that they put, I feel like they put themselves into that cycle. Absolutely. I think they make it a bigger deal than what it is by calling it unrequited love. Like, bro, it is what it's just like, you take that on which stride and you move to the next. It's also at the same point in time, I would even argue that um, not only is unrequited love necessary, um, it teaches you. It's just life. It's like at the end of the day, you can't complain about it's like, yes, being sad sucks, right? But if you're if you've never experienced sadness, how do you appreciate happiness? Yeah. You know what I mean? I mean so it's, it's just an in the moment thing yeah. that you have to go through. I was I always try to tell people, you know, we're gonna have your bad days, but how can you experience your good days if you don't have exactly. your bad days? You'd be so less appreciative of it, you know what I mean? And it's like I think I blame Disney for this. So Disney, if you're watching, this is your fault. They put this image in your head that you're gonna be like this young girl, you're gonna find the man of your dreams, or you're gonna be this young dude, you're gonna find the girl of your dreams. And yes, I don't know if you noticed, I did go with heterosexual relationships because like I said, blame Disney. I don't know any gay guy fools. Well, I mean, they, they, they do it now. I don't watch Disney. I don't like watch that. it either. Yeah, so I just I know, know. that like, they, they try to. Frozen, I, think. Frozen? Frozen? I don't know. I don't <laughs> anyways, all I'm saying <laughs> is that they show you from a young age that, oh yeah, you're going to be young, find you love, and then that's going to be your happily ever after. <clears throat> and it's like... The unrealistic standard. Exactly. Like, that realistically that speaking, is. your soulmate, you're not going to meet anytime soon if you're like less than like 30 watching this. Honestly, that, that part I don't agree with. I mm. think it's whatever time that's designed for you that you'll find I completely way. agree, but I'm just saying like statistically, just based off of the numbers, you, people don't understand people how don't care young- for numbers. Well, you Not don't all care of them. You're, you're right. That, but like realistically yeah, speaking, if you're under 30, you are incredibly young. And the world's already stressful enough without you putting extra stressors and pressures. Like they tell you, oh, make sure you have this by this. You want to make sure you like like yes that is yeah that's what we all would want but like 
why add that extra stress because you're still yeah. young you're still yeah, growing but people people are i'm not gonna say incapable but people mm -hmm. and as i said it's not for everybody absolutely genuinely do not want to be alone so it's not most That's of the time true. that it's become part of our daily life to mm -hmm. be like let me find somebody. I gotta be talking to somebody. I gotta be smashing somebody. Somebody has to be in my life. But don't you think that's a sign of an imbalance on the emotional and mental aspect if you don't know yeah, how to be alone? Here we are. <laughs> here we, here I love we you. are. I love being alone. Yeah, but <laughs> you're in a relationship, correct? Okay, but to be fair. No, but you're, I'm just saying you're in a relationship, correct? Yeah, but I was And prior to your it, relationship, was I single? Were you single, but were you dating? No. Wait, what do you define as dating? Were you were you going out on dates? Were you oh engaging in intercourse? That's not dating. No, but I'm saying <laughs> I'm not let's let's put a comma. Were you dating? Comma. Were you engaging in intercourse? Comma. Were you speaking to other females? Comma. Okay, well yes. I was going on dates, but that was less of a romantic thing. No, just no, listen, but, but here's the here's what I'm here's right. what I'm not, listen, you know, listen, no, don't no, get listen, besides listen. the point. Uh -huh. The point is during that time, whether you may have been in a relationship and or not. Was I doing relationship type things? No. Today's not were relationship. you listen, engaging in this question. Into, were you having sex? Sex is not a relationship type thing. No, what are you having sex? That's a different thing. We're, bro, you're not I'm answering the question. I'm a virgin. I'm saving were myself from my wife. Nope. you having sex? Nope, I'm a virgin. Okay, I'm so myself from apparently my wife. we're lying and he knows we don't lie on the channel. My point that I'm <laughs> trying to make is that whether or not you're single, mm. people, like, I, there's people out there who are talking about, about being alone. Yeah, but you had side chat way a long time ago, <laughs> so let's stick to it. Point is, there's like, mm. we're not designed to be alone, which... It's That's okay fair. to be alone. We're not designed to be alone, but it's okay to be with yourself. But generally, people do not do that. Mm -hmm. Then somebody is always talking to somebody. Somebody's always engaging in some type of activity with somebody, whether it be of love or out of love. Like we having sex, not we. People are having sex out there, <laughs> up and down, left and right. Mm -hmm. And I, it doesn't. There's no love. There's no emotion. There's nothing to it. But it's just the fact that people need something to do with somebody else at some point in their see, lives. That I'm it's like, just, I don't. You see, I don't, that's what I'm, I'm saying. You're never because alone. Because you see, when you sleep, at least for me, when I'm sleeping with someone, it's not because I needed someone around. It's because like that. Don't so there was it. some type of emotion. No, love. it was just that the box feel better than hands, bro. Okay, so you're you're basically <laughs> clarifying exactly what I just said. Bruh, you're you're basically I need, exactly what I, I need somebody right it was more like a mutual transaction okay point then, is <laughs> point is besides that we are typically not in a state where we're ever alone we always feel the need to want or mm -hmm. have somebody in our life mm -hmm. so that kind of also plays a part yes it plays emotionally and mentally but here we are okay. that is like I guess. it's part of what society has left for generations to come unless we somehow decide to switch that up change that up mm -hmm. which i personally don't like just don't see happening All but i'm just arguing is that there is when it comes to life there is no set rubric there's no set no. timeline no. anything that you experience in life is to be decided by you whenever you think you're ready for something that's, that's all god right now that in my case, yes in my case. but you know, it's same at the same point in time what i'm you can even argue that at the end of the day we're saying the same thing your livelihood what is normal what is natural for you is not to be determined and decided by the people around you Didn't at the end of the day we all you know what I mean? We were all born the same way. We all went, we were not going to die. We were going to be all in the same place. We there. all don't end up there. Exactly. There, no you know matter what, what you do. I mean, no matter like how many people you talk to who think they know so much more, like no one was born with a manual. You know what I mean? No one is perfect. Mm -hmm. So like <clears throat> you do things to the standard and level that you think is best for you. And somebody don't love you back. Don't love them back. Duh. Simple. Well, Anyway, <laughs> if someone Listen, don't love you the same way that you, you love don't them, don't let other people love you too, bro. It is recommended <laughs> that you remove yourself from that situation because you're only gonna disappoint yourself. Listen. They've already showed themselves. Mm -hmm. Alex has showed his ass the whole entire video. Wow. All I'm just so we is now if we you know Alex. Unrequited love. <laughs> Can't be gone so, for too long. so if you love somebody and they don't want to love you back, then the people who love you don't love them back. So then that way everyone's sad. That's all I'm saying. 
Just unrequite this. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, let us know how you feel about this subject. We kind of got off topic towards the end, as we usually do. Mm -hmm. um, thanks, Alex, for proving my point. Um, <laughs> Don't forget to leave a comment. Let us know what, how you feel about unreciprocated love. Um, unrequited love. Is it unrequited? I doubt that it said that and you ripped up the paper. Anyways, don't forget to leave a comment. Mm -hmm. Don't forget to hit that subscribe <laughs> button. Don't forget to hit that like button. And turn on those notifications again so you know when another episode of Central Saturday comes out. Stay tuned for that 50th episode, you guys, for the girls and guys panel. It's going to be good. It's going to be juicy. It's going to be exciting. You don't want to miss out on it. You ready to go? No. I was just grabbing my phone. We'll catch y'all later, bosses. <laughs>